So how do we install mods for Minecraft 1.18? Now in today's example, we are going to install Xero's minimap, but the process is pretty much the same for all of the mods. Now that does not include the mod packs. For mod packs, I'm going to give a separate video. Now, if you're going to Google and you search for any mods, you most likely are going to end up in Cursed Forge and it is dropping you in a page similar to this one here. Now, it's always a good idea to scroll through the description really quick and see what all the mod can do and what you need. It kind of depends on who created the mod. The information can be in a few different places. But for example, here we can see, okay, if we go with the fabric version, we need the fabric loader. We need the fabric api other mod creators sometimes also put it into the relations that you see what relates to it what do we need to get this mod running once you figured out that this mod is the one that you need you hop over into the files and in this example here you can see well this one here is for forge for the game version 1.18 this one down here is a fabric version for 1.18. So make sure that you download the correct version because if you're trying to run the Forge version but you're on a fabric and fabric API client, then that is not going to work. Now, if you cannot find the version that you're looking for, maybe the new game version just got released, go up here into the browser, put in slash all, and now you see that it is also showing all of the alpha versions. So R is released, B is a beta version, and A are all the alphas. Now the alphas, you most likely are going to have more errors, but if that is the only one that you can get, then that's the one that you probably want to go and install. Now, if you have a lot of different mods, I highly recommend to go and install the mod menu. And mod menu, you can see, well, is that for fabric or is that for forge? You don't really see anything. So again, you have to read through it. And then down here, you can find, oh, okay, mod menu is for fabric. Also up here, you can see, oh yeah, fabric. And we also need the fabric API. So I'll just go ahead and download those two mods. And to download them, you just click on the little download file here. And then once the five seconds are up, you can click on keep. Now, once they're downloaded, I usually just drag them onto my desktop so I have a better place to work with. And then we are opening up our .minecraft folder. If you don't know how to find that, go into the search bar, type in percentage app data percentage. And usually the very first folder is .minecraft. Now, if you use that folder a lot, you actually can just right click on it and do the pin to quick access. So as you can see over here, uh, for me, I always can find the .minecraft folder very quickly. In a .minecraft folder, you should have a folder called mods. If you don't have that, you just right click and you create a new folder, M-O-D-S. And in here is where we are going to drop our two new mods, the mod menu and the minimap because as you can see, I already have my fabric API in here. Now make sure that we don't have any conflicting game versions in here. So if you already have a mini map in, uh, but it is the 1.17 version, make sure to create the subfolder where you drop that in or just remove it. And just to make sure that everything works, let's start up Minecraft really quick. And here in the main menu, we already can see we have mods so this one here is my mods menu that i have now i have the mini map in here and i can go and configure what i need to see on here and as you can see the mini map is slowly loading in so everything is working thank you very much for watching i hope to see you at the next video